Today I'm going to be making a gel based lip scrub. Today we're making a gel lip scrub and to make that I have some jojoba oil and also some cerebellina wax in this beaker. Um, cerebellina wax I get from Aromantic and what this does is it's a wax but it also helps to gel oils so that will give us our base texture. And then once that's heated and melted we're going to be adding some vitamin E and you can use any vitamin E, I just happen to have this clear from TKB Trading. Then we're going to add some flavour oil um, that's in there with the vitamin E ready to go. Um, any flavour oil you like, just check the IFRA for allowed usage rates. What a flavour oil does is basically it's a lip safe fragrance oil. Um, and it, it kind of tricks your brain into thinking you're tasting what you're smelling and um, so long as you have some kind of sweetener so that is why we are using some granulated sugar and um, I've got two types in here because I ran out of the first one um, but the sweetness of this will help the flavor oil come through and then because we're using a minty flavor oil I'm going to use a bit of this green lip safe mica to colour the scrub. So let's get this melted and then we'll bring it all together. To melt it I'm using my little mobile induction hob and we've got a pan with about one inch of water in it and then we'll just place the beaker inside and let the cerebellina melt down. Um, we'll leave that for a good amount of time to make sure that the, that the wax does melt down fully because sometimes it can look melted down when it isn't and that's one of the reasons people do heat and hold just to make sure that everything is fully fully melted so we're going to do that and then we'll come back when it's all melted okay that's fully melted now you can see that's all melted down i'm just going to take the temperature and we need to let that cool down significantly before we can add our next stage ingredients. This is cooled down to under 40 degrees now and look at that beautiful texture. That's from the cerebellina wax. It gives you this lovely silky kind of oil gel. So we're ready to add our cool down ingredients to this now. So let's get them out of here. Okay, there's such a little bit. I'm going to do this separately. Back in a sec. Okay, always, if you're doing a small batch like this, add into the beaker because you will never get a small amount out of the other beaker. So I've added that in now. I'm just going to give that a mix round. And then we're going to get a tiny touch of mica. Just a little bit and make sure it's lip safe. Your supplier details will be able to tell you that. And just mix it around. Some kind of green colour to match the mint fragrance slash flavour. Mix it around well, get it incorporated with all the gel. And now we're going to add the sugar.
texture of this is just so, so nice. So now, let's take this away. So now I've got these little jars that I like to use for lip scrubs. So get one there, and we're going to fill that up. lovely that texture is it sort of holds together but is also really silky smooth now I know this isn't my lips but just so you can see the texture properly see how it just glides on It feels really, really nice. And then if we wipe the sugar away and my skin is really, really soft. So this is a really, really nice scrub because you get all the moisturizing benefits. You get the benefits from the Cerebellina wax and you get this incredible texture that's just so so nice to use so if you want to try this the recipe is on my patreon and that's linked below and um, thank you to all my patrons thank you to the vip patrons that i will link here and i'll see you in the next one